Hey everyone, I've got the latest version of Acorn CNC12 beta software here running on my bench top. And I wanted to take this opportunity to go over the aux key programming. We've made some minor changes that make it a little bit easier for users to program aux key functionality. And right now on the VCP here, I have four aux keys, aux 8, 9, 10, and 11 that are available. And while we've always had the facility to map a particular M code to an aux key, we just made this a little bit easier in the new version, hopefully soon to be released 414, by simply pre-mapping these aux keys to a M code. So let's check it out. Now I have, this is just a fresh install. I have not mapped anything pre ahead of time in this video. This is just the way the software self-installs uh, these aux keys. So let's go ahead. I'm going to hit aux 8. And when I press aux 8, it executes M function 55. So what that means is that M55 is pre-mapped to the aux 8 button as installed. So when CNC 12 is installed, this is the button, uh, this is the M code that's mapped to the aux 8 button. And the message says, hey, this is an example macro, M55, and it can be found in the CNC M directory. CNC M is the directory in your hard drive that it, where CNC 12, the program that we're currently running, is located. M stands for mil, so if you have a mil installed, it's the CNC M directory you want to look at. Same thing with the CNC T. T stands for turning, so that means it's the lathe software is installed in the CNC T directory. And usually there's a letter C in front of there, because that's where you would have that installed. So the second line says, edit to include the desired functionality. So what it's telling us is if we want this M code to do anything more than what you currently see on the screen, we got to go edit that and change that M code um, in whatever way we want. So it does whatever we want when we hit that button. So let's check out aux 9. We're going to go do that, by the way, but let's just see. Aux 9 is mapped, uh, M56 is mapped to aux 9. When I press aux 10, M57 is mapped to aux 10 and aux 11, m58 is mapped to aux 11. So for this example, let's go edit m57, which is mapped to aux 10. All I'm going to do is open up my C drive, and I'm going to locate my CNC M directory, and I'm going to scroll down. There's a whole bunch of macros in here, and I'm going to look for number 57. So I'm going to click Open. I'm using Notepad++, and uh, if you haven't installed Notepad++ uh, and configured it for G-code editing, I strongly suggest that you do. It's Tech Bulletin 294 and is available on the website with clean, clear instructions telling you how to download and configure Notepad++ for G-code editing because it's much better than using Notepad. Now here is the macro, and what I'm going to do is this line that I'm on right now, line 13, is the line that makes that message pop up. So I'm going to leave it there and simply comment it out, move down the line, and what I want this aux 10 button to do is zero out my W axis, or, or go to zero, excuse me, my W axis. So I'm going to type in G0, which is a rapid positioning mode, and I'm going to tell it the position to go for the W axis, which is zero. So I typed in my commands and I hit file, save, and I'm just going to minimize this window. I'm going to close that window, and I'm going to jog my W axis. Let's just switch the fast jog to a few degrees away from zero, and then Aux 10 now should send that back to zero if I press aux 10. Let's go ahead and do it. And there it is, executing the G0W0 command, and it's moving the W axis back to zero. And when it's done, it goes away. So that's how simple it is to edit or map. Um, if you had, if you have version 4.12 you would have to go through one extra step, and that's go into Setup, Config, type in the password, go to Parameters, and jump over to Parameters in this column right here, 189 through 198. And you'll notice in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, it's saying uh, 194 is aux 7, 195 is aux 8, etc. So there we go, aux 10 
is currently set to 5711. And all the 11 means in this parameter is, hey, use the macro that I say to use for that key. That's all the 11 says. So whatever's in front of the 11 is the number of the macro. So in this case, we have macro number 57 mapped to 197 in the parameters, which is aux 10. That's all you got to do, and be sure to hit F10 save, and it wouldn't hurt to exit CNC12 and restart just to make sure those changes take effect. That's the scoop. Talk to you soon.